Hi, this is the moving fulcrum setup that we had from the last setup video. It has a 98 gear, a 120 turntable, a 100 gear, with this, which is just for the drivetrain, to set up for a 40. So as it goes around, the fulcrum moves. But one of the interesting things is instead of having the drive uh, for the connecting rod come off the 98 gear, we can flip it around. And so before we had this triangular pattern in the center of the drawing. Now when we flip it around and put the fulcrum slide on the 98, the gears on the 40, the bearings on the 40, and we need to add another post so that we can have something to hold on to and crank. So now if we just take a piece of paper, put it on, taping it in four spots, and we're going to set up the connecting rod so the drive is coming off the what was the moving fulcrum before and now we still have a moving fulcrum but it's on the 98 gear and let's just see what this does what you can start to see is it's instead of the circle on the outside with a triangle in the center. It's a triangle on the outside with another triangle in the center. So it's kind of um, working from inside out now. We still get the triangle because this is a 40 gear and this is a 120 base. The more we do it, it will never repeat on itself because again, this is 98. So it will fill in a little bit darker and show you some more of the shading for where the curves are. That's probably enough at this point, but it'll give you some idea of how you can take the connecting rod, often on some of the designs, and just flip it around to get a whole different design, or actually the same design but inside out. Anyway, that's all. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.